Um, I was coming, I was building this uh, project here, this little interactive uh, um, kind of scene um, just for fun. And um, I wanted this hit area to be larger. Um, as, as you do it on mobile, it gets really, uh, you know, the, the hit area is really small on this uh, red dot. And, and um, I couldn't get, yeah, I just didn't have great results and I wanted to have a larger area. I initially tried to make the circle larger, but that just was kind of too ridiculous. Um, and the other thing is I want, you know, we have this interaction here uh, with, with uh, the, the mouse and the lever, but then if we're anywhere outside of that, we have this scene navigation um, uh, event as well. And so I didn't, you know, I was, I was, this was kind of a hard one to figure out and at first anyway, and <clears throat> um, the solution was really simple. Uh, and so I just thought I'd make this video and kind of walk you through what I did here. Um, uh, yeah, and again, tried making that larger and that just looks silly. So I was like, I need to have a larger a, a hit area. I need to define what that is. But the problem is it's in 3D space, right? So I, I, I couldn't really think of an easy way to do that in code. Um, yeah, so and I decided to try this way and it worked out really well. So I thought I'd share it. Um, so yeah, so it starts in Blender here. And basically, again, so if I click this and I do, you know, and I scale it up, I, ha I tried this kind of thing here and it was just kind of, kind of funny actually, but I, I decided not, I didn't want that. Um, there was a technical reason to it. I can't recall what that was, but anyway, so yeah, so the solution was quite simple. Um, I'm coming to here. So all I did was create this area this uh, this object here, if you can see, it's just a sh kind of a shell object. And it's you know whatever six polygons or eight polygons, very small. And um, yeah, I got that. I called it hit area, and, um, and then this one's called lever, and exported it out. And that was that was really all I did. I initially did put a transparent. Um, you know, I, I did put a transparent texture on here, uh, but then I ended up doing it, uh, just doing that part in code. Um, I had better results in, in 3JS. So yeah, so that's it. I export that out and then in the code here, I first come and I load in my, um, when I load in my, um, here we go. When I load in the GLB, I go down, I traverse the, the, um, the scene and I come down to here and if I say hey if, if it's hit area um, one assign the child and then assign this transparent material up here to that object now that's pretty much it as you know with the transparent true opacity zero and um, that's kind of it and then from there I let's see where is it here yeah I just do this with um, hit area uh, and I see if it, the raycaster is is intersecting and if it is then that means it's clicking and um, and if it's clicking then I change the levers rotation um, and also let me point that out so the lever is rotating on this point here so I wanted that to be the fulcrum and have it you know rotate around there and um, so if I do RX, I think, yeah, so you can see I wanted that bar to go down, um, to go down in, inside the slot here. Um, let me share that again from here. So I wanted that action. And so as you can see, I just offset it uh, to get the point there. I forget what I did, but I just, maybe I just eyeballed it, but, um, and then did that in the model, and then in here I can just rotate um, this this uh, lever um, as it, as it's clicked. So that's it. And yeah, again, it works here. There's a live link here if you go to lab.jaredstanley.com/carnival. You can try it yourself. Um, it's just a little kind of a number chooser game. Um, and then, but yeah, it works really well. You can see this all is is working and then the and if i come right to here 
you can see that it, it will use that hit area. Um, yeah, so kind of simple, but took me a little while to figure out. So I thought I'd share it here. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I was going to maybe break down some other parts of this video or this project into little videos, um, but still not 100% sure I'm going to do that. But this one I definitely wanted to share. Anyway, that's it. Thanks.